Today, we are in 2 Kings chapter 14. So let's take a look at what it says, starting in verse 1. Amaziah, son of Joash, began to rule over Judah in the second year of the reign of King Joash of Israel. Amaziah was 25 years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem for 29 years. His mother was Jehodan from Jerusalem. Amaziah did what was pleasing in the Lord's sight, but not like his ancestor David. Instead, he followed the example of his father, Joash. Amaziah did not destroy the pagan shrines, and the people still offered sacrifices and burned incense there. Now I want us to see that it says he did what was pleasing in the Lord's sight, but not like David. It says Amaziah followed the example of his father by not tearing down the pagan shrines that the people were making sacrifices to. See, this is the first great point to look at. See, we should all be leading by example, and we all have people that we look to as an example. First, our only perfect example is Jesus, and he should be our example in everything that we do. And second, we are an example to others who Jesus is. It may be your kids, your spouse, your friends, or even the people you work with. See, we all should make sure we are a good example of who Jesus is. See, I've heard it said this way, you may be the only Bible that some people ever read, so are you being a good translation? See, Amaziah did not remove the sin from his life and from Judah. We see that while he did win a great victory over the Edomites, he became prideful and wanted to attack the northern kingdom of Israel. See, back in Arkansas, we would say, why would you poke a sleeping bear? But God took this opportunity to teach Amaziah a hard lesson. He lost the battle against Joash. So let's pick up in the middle of verse 13 after Amaziah was captured by Jehoash, it says, Then he marched to Jerusalem where he demolished 600 feet of Jerusalem's wall, from the Ephraim gate to the corner gate. He carried off all the gold and silver and all the articles from the temple of the Lord. He also seized the treasures from the royal palace along with the hostages and then returned to Samaria. I want to make one final point. Our sin has consequences in our lives, but our sin also affects others. When King Amaziah lost the battle, 600 feet of the defensive wall of Jerusalem was torn down. They plundered all the riches and the people were taken hostage. So today, let's clean out all the sin in our lives and not have to suffer the consequences of it. And also, see that it affects the lives of others. I want to leave you with this. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone and a new life has begun. Today, let's allow Jesus to cleanse us of all our sin and may his new life be in you.